Hello my convicts and convicts, yes I designed a couple convicts and yes we're gonna do some more duos in Apex Legends so hopefully you enjoy, so here we go. This is pre-recorded so I'm just letting you, giving you a heads up about that but here we are. So luckily I pick up a hemlock and I'm just looking for obviously the body shield or anything like that. The blue crates are here and there we go our teammate goes down unfortunately at this point. But let me know in the comments what you think of duos. I actually enjoy it, so I've smoked the area. Generally, I like to play Bloodhound, and they usually play Bangalore, but it was flipped this time around. It was actually nice to have this kind of duo, because I feel that Bloodhound and Bangalore do complement each other really, really well. And a note to people, don't do that. Don't kick doors in when an enemy is basically pinning the door shut because they will physically have the advantage against you if you do decide to kick the door in because for the first second of you doing the animation of kicking the door actually in you can't shoot or do anything you physically can't do anything you're stuck in an animation so do be aware if you're going to kick in doors don't throw bombs at the door or a arc star because Otherwise, you're just going to make it bad, worse for yourself. And if you do throw an axe die, it does actually hurt them if it goes off while they're stood next to the door. So do be aware of that. Uh, many, many times I've had people who go and try and kick the door in, and it's so much of a free shot. So don't do it. In shot, don't do it. <laughs> so there we go so he's got a body shield blue one i've got my body shield now and i don't know where the pathfinder's teammate was but yeah he, he decided uh, he didn't want to play i think or maybe he was unlooking ended up in the game just as a solo i've had that happen many a times when you're playing duos and it throws you in as a solo i've had it done in trios so um, you know just one of the things there's uh, teammate here with me, so okay. I thought I'll come over here, just scout out the rest of these buildings, see if we can find anything obviously a little bit better. Pick up any new attachments if I can. I managed to find a better scope. That's a good old R99. <laughs> I was like, no, I don't want to get rid of this one because I've actually found the Havoc and even Rich, who I follow on YouTube, known as iTemps, says that the Havoc is a pretty beast weapon and he always picks it up at any, you know, any point he can because it's a really, really strong weapon in the game at the moment. So. Uh, I didn't want to get rid of obviously my havoc, but I'm a big fan of the R99. So just going to finish Let's looting these buildings. Here. Just want to be in a good position here, and make sure I've got as much attachments as I can, obviously for weapons. There we go, just upgrade again. And then on we go. So yeah, in the comments below, let me know what you think of duos in Apex. I actually like it because I feel like I can beat two people, generally, if I need to. The struggle for me was like, I could beat two people and then the third one would be the one that kills me, not because they're good players as such, but just purely because you've got no health and shield to do anything with, unless you can physically get away and then shield and heal and then come back. It's a bit of a pain when they're sticking on trios, but you know, it's just it's just one of the things. I have been enjoying duos a little bit more. New kill leader, watch your six. Shotgun bolt here. 
Level six point. So I'm just obviously letting the teammate know if there's anything he needs to come and get it. R99 here. Let's go this way. And I didn't mean to ping that. <laughs> I was pinging that there was uh, the havoc in that, so there's a weird reason. Sometimes it doesn't do it, and you, you do ping that. You say, come here. It's like, no, I <laughs> don't want to do that. So I think I've got a pretty V set up. And one of my bad habits uh going round and round in circles sometimes, just overthinking areas sometimes and looking at an area I've already been to. It's like, oh I've not been in this building. Yes you have. <laughs> you dummy. And it's like wow, level three? Okay. It's like do I need that? It's like no I don't need it. I'm good. Because I did pick it up earlier. So you can tell the train's coming. It's like, okay, I'm just going to scope out the train in a moment when it comes along. Because you never know. People might be camping the train. And uh, also, there's really good loot that happens to come on the train most times as well. So it's kind of an important thing. Always check the train, just in case. Because you normally get really, really high-grade body shields. Now at this point, it's just looking around, just double checking. There's no one coming, and then over here, now people normally land here, so I do like to come over here and just double check out this area. And plus, there's no point pushing the circle too much and going right into the center circle and then not having anyone to shoot at. So I thought, bugger it, we'll come here, we'll have a look. And as you can see, people have been here before. Okay. See if there's anything that we don't have. But nope, they're being looted. And then go underneath. This is a good area as well. This is normally where the good loot is underneath. And then I did hear people. It's like, hang on. We've got people coming. So I'm being a bit sneaky here. And I heard Bloodhound pop his ult here. I'm just going to stand at the top. He's going to come in. He's going to have no clue I'm here. And I'm just going to absolutely destroy his health and armor. And then uh, reload for the worst time ever. And there we go. Managed to beat him. But unfortunately, I was got his teammate there as well. So that, okay, I need to just come in for a moment. Shield up. And then get back in. Just keep an eye on my teammate here. Okay. Let's see if we can hit this guy. As you can see, there's quite a, a lot of heavy recoil with the Havoc in the moment. So we're going to help the teammate if he needs help. Which he didn't. He, he managed to get there. Well done. I'll just smoke the area while I obviously pick up more stuff. I'm just making him aware of anything he might need. And then do the usual, just throw away the extra bump I've got here. Always picking up too much in such as like shield cells, health and stuff like that, so I always throw it away eventually. But I'd rather do that and have it than not actually have it and need it, so that's my logic anyway. New kill leader. Call him if you spot him. So now at this moment it's just waiting for the teammate. 
Then we can move on. Syringe here. Best in a tight spot. It's on. Ring's moving. So I didn't know if he needed it, but obviously because he's got no extra health, I was like, does he need health? I wonder sometimes. I did ping that for the shrind, but apparently it didn't, it didn't work that time. Like, okay, while you're healing, I'm just going to quickly get into the circle. And then obviously just wait here for him. Just in case. And obviously now I can see him coming, it's like, okay, we'll just keep on moving. Have a look, see what's on this, if there's anything. Ping out enemies. And I was like, right, let's let's wrap around. And then we're in a good position. So I'm like, right, what I'm going to do, because there's enemies over this way, I'm going to explain I want to defend this area. Rather than him go over there and try to pick a fight. I was like, we might as well just defend from here, because they're going to come this way, if anything. And just... Just as a guess, I thought I'll throw it. You never know, might hit someone. And he did mark someone here. Oh, I just saw them. Just see them trying to mark, so. I was like, right, now's the time. Let's get in there, get some kills in. And I noticed he got red body armor. I was like, oh, that's that new Evo red body armor. I'm like, I really want that. And then someone was shooting me from the back here. So I was like, great, we've got another team now trying to shoot us in the back. I was like, bugger this, I want that red body armor. I was like, I'm, I'm not taking no ifs, no buts. I want that red body armor, it's mine. So, letting him know I'm, I'm going in. I'm, I'm not waiting. I want my red body armor. And there we go, we got the kill on him. And I was getting shot by someone, I don't know where from, but I was like, I don't care, I want the red body armor. I don't care. And unfortunately, my poor teammate got downed again. I was like, okay, I'm coming. To smoke the area to try and hopefully protect him. Which unfortunately didn't work as you can see, but now I've got red body armor. Now I didn't know if you could climb on this or not, but you can actually climb on it. So I thought, right, they're not going to know I'm up here. And look at the havoc. The havoc just absolutely melts people to death. So it is a pretty decent weapon. And I didn't mean to fall, but it helped. <laughs> it happened. And there we go. Two people fight the dust. And now I am the kill leader. Kill leader, huh? I'll take the promotion. Like hell yeah, I'll take the promotion. Again, just picking up loads of crap. Gold barrel stabilizer and purple extended for R99. I was like, well, hey, I'm pretty much stacked now. And now we've got the red Evo shield, which is the highest grade. It's even higher than the gold. And I was like, yes, pretty cool. And as you can see, the circle's coming into the final circle. So I was going to try and go to the circle over here, but. As I got looked, I was like, I'm not going to make it, and there's no way I'm going to be able to take damage from the zone here, and obviously keep my teammates in the game as well. But, I always do try my best, if I can, or if there's a possibility of bringing some back in, then I will do that. And there is a another respawn point, as you can see here, on the left. So I was like, right, if I can respawn him here, I will do. Because I'd rather have two players for the end game rather than go against two who might be stacked out as well. Even though it may not be able to help too much, sometimes you can help just by being there, just by distracting. You can distract them and then obviously if you do get downed then there's a possibility you may have taken some damage off them if you've got a weapon. If not, then obviously you may have distracted them enough for them to take enough damage that they may be able to win both opponents. So, you know, that's always my logic. Regardless of how futile you might think it is, you can always help. So, 
to his back. I'm like, right, I'm going to drop him a stack of everything. Again, one of the reasons why I like having all these things. And the other people are coming as well. So I'm like, right, I need to tell him like, all these things he can pick up. Because someone's coming. And there we go, there's another enemy here. I'm like, right, I need to just quickly back off for a minute. Try and shield if I can. And I did stop shielding because obviously he started fighting someone, but luckily he did win. And there's the last person I believe it is. There we go, just shield up again. And I could hear him. It's like, okay, there is someone here. Here he is. And there we go. So hopefully you enjoyed, if you did don't forget to hit the like, subscribe if you're new, tap that notification bell so you can be notified of all my videos and you truly can be one of Capcom's convicts, and yes I'm signing out, and I salute you my convicts and convicts, and I'll see you soon in another gameplay, but see how we did. And there we go, I got 6 kills, he got 2, and bye for now.